Hey yo, what's up? This Shay's reaction. With the reaction, keeping you current on what's happening. Welcome to as Shay's as well as well. reaction. This is so sad. So we're going to get into the Sonya Massey story. Okay. Prayers up to Sonya's family. Um, I'm lost for words right now, but I'm going to try my best to not get emotional. Um, so let's go, let's go, let's get straight to it. So Sonya was born February 12, 19, 1988 in San Diego, California. At some point in her life, she wound up moving to um, Springfield, Illinois. Sonya lived in a three-bedroom house at 268 Hover Avenue. On July 6, 2024, around 12.50 a.m., 36-year-old Massey called 911 after hearing noise outside her home. She refused to answer any of the questions from the dispatcher and hung up the phone. Two deputies arrived shortly after Sonya hangs up the phone. So Sonya winds up opening the door around 1.08 a.m. in the morning, okay? saying that she heard noise he's trying to figure out what noise he's telling her he searched around all her all the premises he haven't seen nobody so he's asking her now and questioning her about the car that's next to her garage that's in her yard okay and she's saying that she don't know who car it is so they go back around there just to get the license plates to read the license plates on it on the car to see whose car it really is mind you sean doesn't have his body cam on who knows they was going through something he winded up in the house i think he asked her for her id okay so now they in the house he's asking her for her id sonya is looking for her id she's telling her his name her name he's asking what's your name she's telling her her name he said what's your last name so she said massey he said so can you just show me your id better yet I just rather see your ID. He points to his partner, okay? But mind you, his body cam's not on. Then he tells Sonya she has water on the stove. And he don't want nobody getting burnt up. This lady literally picks up the pot to pour it in the sink. And she, he says, I don't want the house to get blown up. She says, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. She said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus because he said her house is going to burn up. Okay. Yeah, you can tell this lady has some type of mental issues, but what she wasn't, y'all was not in danger. Like, this is just such a sad, touching situation. How you could be in your house and you call her for help and you wind up dead this lady did not know she was gonna wind up dead call her for help you don't know what she was going through you could have just even shot in the air it was no water coming towards you man it was no water coming towards you and i'm tired i'm tired of these cops getting away with viciously killing our people and if we don't stand for anything we stand for nothing. If we don't stand and come together just like the Mexicans, just like the whites, just like the Spanish, just like every other race, then we got a problem on our hands. Shout out and all praise to the Massey's family. And I'm not done with this story. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm not done. And then for you to sit here and was about to say, just let her, when he said he, your yeah, partner too said he wanted to go and get the kick to try to help Miss Massey. You said, no, let her, when you really wanted to say, let her die. When you really wanted to say, let her die. She did not know she was going that day. She literally put the pot on the counter. And the way I'm looking at this video, that bullet done shot the pot down because the lady done lift up. You done threw a shot and the water in the pot went all over the place. She did not have a pot in her hands. Miss Massey had mittens in her hands, a pot, pot holders in her hands. This is wrong on all levels. And <laughs> we shall get justice. And when I say we, we as a people, we as the black folks, we shall get justice for Miss Massey. 
Okay? But I'm off this till next video. Let's go, let's go, let's go.